Well, hello there, welcome back for another minifigures review video and in today's video we're gonna take a look at new uh, Ant-Man minifigures from uh, based on the Quantum Mania uh, movie right and this is actually released by a brand called G but as I understood G is actually part of Sin so yeah we can consider it as uh, Sin's release as well right so yeah let's let's kick start this, uh, this review shall we so first off we're gonna take a look at the uh, Ant-Man himself Okay. As you can see, it's quite good and comes with a mini uh, little tiny figurine of himself. Right, um, yeah, quite good. Uh, although we have seen this before, but you can see the paint jobs or the printing uh, are not bad. You can see most of the uh, Ant Man suit. Right, very nice. So here is the minifigure. Right, taking a look at the helmet, I can see a very nice translucent um, visor. Okay, so you can actually see the eyes, the alignment is quite good. Okay, so not bad. The helmet, uh, the shape, everything uh, quite accurate. All right, and now look at the helmet. Okay, and here is the face printing of Ant-Man. Um, yeah, I think it's okay. But one thing about this G brand is that it felt like you know the the sin uh, prior to the improvement. You know there was one since release with uh, all the parts kind of uh, stiff and and uh, it takes more effort to assemble. So this actually felt like that era of uh, sin in terms of plastic quality. All right. Okay, so that's the uh, second face print. Okay, all banged up uh, by Kang, I assume. I haven't watched the movie yet, so I do think <laughs> Kang is the one which actually beat him up. So very nice, I, I do like this face print. Okay, very interesting face print here uh, with the helmet. Yeah, as you can see. Right, the eye alignment. Still very good. Alright, now let's take a look at the body printing here. Now the suit is uh, kind of accurate as per the movie, right? They have all this circle in the center, so it's very nice. And really love the texture. I uh, would hope that the rate be much more vibrant, but still this is uh, kind of good. Alright, I like it. Here the side here, full body printing, full side printing. Side leg, side arm, very nice. Really like all the, uh, you know, the metallic colors that they put in. Very bright, very nice. Okay, quality printing, I'd say. Quality printing. That's the back print with the back leg printing as well. Okay, so the other side of the print. Very nice. So if you compare him to the. Um, Kind of the older version of uh, Ant-Man. Uh, this is from WM. You can see uh, the suit design is indeed different. Okay, so it's very nice that they actually kept up to the uh, the actual Quantum Mania suit design. Okay, so very nice Ant-Man. Next up, we have a uh, Wasp. Okay, very beautiful wings. All right now, Wasp comes with the same um, you know, small figurine, but of course with a very nicely done printing on the figurine. Right, we really love it. And here is Wasp. So one thing I'd like to command here is that the helmet is actually the same as Ant Man, right? But I understood it shouldn't be the same because uh, if I'm mistaken, uh, Wasp actually has a much more wider um, uh, visor. It's, like, it's not like you no know, separated two eyes. Uh, do correct me if I'm wrong. I do think it's it's like the whole thing is right here, all combined as her visor. So this is just an exact replica of uh, this Ant Man's helmet. Uh, they did not redesign the helmet for Wasp, which. Uh, 
kind of weak, you know. I'm gonna show you the WM's version, uh, the older one, not based on Quantum Mania, right? Uh, so steel, uh, the same helmet, and just yellow color uh, for the visor and also uh, paint jobs here. But still, uh, you can see the alignment is very nice. Eyes showing. Okay. And here's the face print. I think it's okay. Right. A lot of wrinkles. Why did they do that? And here is a second face print of her being very, very angry. That's a fierce one. <laughs> Alright, and she comes with uh, this translucent plastic. It's a very solid plastic. Alright. For the wings. Uh, I do think it's very nice. Okay. Beautiful. Alright. Let's take a look at her, her body printing. Again, very uh, kind of accurate to the movie. Again, you can see uh, the design all has kind of like a, a circular at the center. And I do think this is very nice. You, know, you can see all these uh, patterns uh, felt like those, uh, you know, really wasp wings. You have all those kind of uh, patterns on the wings. Right, so very nice. And the yellow color is, uh, it's just right brightness for me I do like the uh, vibrant of this yellow okay just to me I do think normally they they kind of uh, print the yellow on black it kind of looks very dull but this this looks very nice I really love it okay so here the side printing side body print side leg print it's the back print and the other side print so very nice uh, wasp. Put back the uh, the wings first. Right off on, I'm gonna bring in my uh, you know this WM version, the older version of the wasp. So you can see uh, most of the time wasp helmet. The visor is actually this is how it should look like. All right, uh, not this. This is actually the like man So I think the helmet. Uh, it's just kind of a miss that they did not create a new helmet for Wasp. Okay. So next we have Cassie. Alright. So Cassie comes with the same uh, tiny figure. And with uh, Cassie's uh, costume design. Or suit design. Okay. Take a look at Cassie's helmet. Again, this is uh, Ant Man's design, but I do think the Cassie's helmet is the same as uh, Ant Man, so this is okay. This is good. All right. So very nice visor. You have the uh, a bluish purplish kind of visor. Really love it, and uh, nice alignment. You can see there. Okay, so that's Cassie. Um, face printing is just okay. I could have made her prettier, right? So this, yeah, that's the second face print. Here you go. Okay, so put on back the helmet. The alignment is still good, right? So here you have the uh, suit again. Uh, very accurate. You can see all of them have the same circular at the center and also the color purple color is very very nice I really love the purple color that they use okay beautiful all right it just match very well the purple and these uh, the metallic silver love it okay it's the back print and side okay one thing I can see here there's just a lot of metallic printing at the side here as well which is awesome, I really love it. Okay, same goes for here. Very nice, very nice. So, Cassie, uh, another nice one. Okay, so lastly, uh, we have the big villain himself, uh, Kang. Whoosh, he looks awesome. Right, so, it's 360 looking Kang. Right, so Kang does comes with a uh, few things uh, first off let's, let's show off the uh, first hate first you can see here the helmet or the mask version okay 
uh, I do think this is quite good all right the blue color helmet uh, visor kind of stuff very nice and it's only one sided print okay that's the one hit and it comes with a yeah it actually comes with three uh, different hits for you to play around which is very cool okay so that's the, uh, the angry version you can see here it's very nice all right we really love this one beautiful you can see very very nice Okay, comparison between the two of it and lastly it comes with a unmasked version of the head okay almighty oh Kang and also uh, the unmasked head has a two-sided face print so all in all you get four different uh, uh, sight of different faces, which is very very cool, right? For this price, superb, superb. Okay, very nice, very well accessorized in terms of the head and also the face printing, superb. Okay, so let's take a look at the body. So the cape here is beautiful, as you can see, all the patterns of Kang's cape, uh, so well done, and also the quality is very very good really love this one okay beautiful beautiful cape and then we take a look at Kang's body printing it's just awesome I love how that all, all these minifigures always have all this kind of uh, uh, near textured printing it's just so much things happening you can see here. wow very nice very nice beautiful okay and also the color is very uh, of the correct purple color which I normally see Kang uses alright beautiful and here's the side printing again you can see here with a lot of textured printing it's just full body print absolutely excellent let's see back here full printing down to the leg and the other side so this is an amazing figure this Kang is just Beautiful. I mean, great job to G or or Sin. Okay, this is very nice indeed. Really love this one, Kang. Uh, really thumbs up to to all the uh, optional heads that they, they shed off. All right, so you can see here. Okay, superb, just beautiful. Okay, so Kang. Alright, so that's the review for G or Sin's uh, Quantum Mania minifigures and I do think they look superb, alright, they're awesome. Uh, quality wise, just a little bit off from the uh, the current Sin's quality but still it's very nice, beautiful printing, uh, the face job, everything is very nice. Kang is just awesome, I, I do think, in my opinion, Kang is just beautiful, right? And the colors of the printing all is just very, very nice. The only thing that I do not like is uh, Wasp Helmet, I think that's just being lazy. Um, they could have come up with a, a, a just a right move for, for Wasp Helmet and this would be a perfect set. So yeah, I do love this one. Um, yeah, that's the only option we have for Quantum Mania, but it's a good option, right? Uh, so yeah, that's the uh, Quantum Mania minifigure by Sin or G, right? So hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you very much for your time for watching this video and your support. Right, I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.